Welcome back to day number five of 30 days of StarCraft. That's right. My name is Isbeck here on Quad V, and it's time for yet another game. We had a new patch yesterday. Well, actually today, really, for uh, StarCraft up to number five. However, considering I'm doing replays, it doesn't really matter so much considering, well, they are previous versions of the game. Today, however, I'm going to do something that I'm uh, going to do a player that I've been looking at for a very long time. I've known him for a very long time, not personally, but I've seen his work for, well, spreading back significantly over the uh, over the last years, really, with uh, TLO, the little one. That's right, the little one, the one and only player that uh, I've managed to cast for uh, Supreme Commander back in the day and also some Subcom 2 together with his brother when he was still playing uh, GB2s with the big one, which is, in fact, his brother. I also managed to uh, get uh, Luz versus White Rod the other day, I believe, for in one of the uh, one of the cups, which was a bit of a shame. However, considering we're now here, you might as well do whatever is up. We got our game underway. We have TLO as random, and this guy this time he managed to pull Terran. And on the other side, we have Mardo pulling out as a uh, pulling out as uh, Zerg. And let's see what both players are up to. Now, I'm already quite interested on in, uh, what is going on. We got the resources being built as well, and all of that crap. So. There's not much currently going on. We have well a couple of SCPs. Well, we have Overlord being built by Amardo. But aside from that, the initial stuff is fairly random, to, uh, to say the least. As uh, resource-wise, we have uh, the little one going ahead slightly as he is uh, up here as uh, the dark blue. But Amardo actually has a light blue, so that is a bit of a shame. As, uh, as, uh, we got more stuff going on. Not much actually being done at the moment. We got more more workers being built by both sides, just SCVs and drones. It's an initial scouting going on by Mardo. He's just sending his overlord on towards the other side of the map trying to figure out what the hell's going on. As uh so Mardo is actually sending out one of his drones as well. I don't think uh no. It's just two this is two overlords just going towards random directions because you can spawn them very various parts of the map. I don't think that the TLO has actually done any scouting so far. Let's take a look at what is uh, going on on his side. No, he hasn't done any scouting, so that is uh, that is uh, not really the case so far. He will be scouted out now, and there is a barracks coming up as uh, Marta will find out. There we go. Let's see if he is already there to meet him, and. Uh, He's already trying to uh, kill and take him down with that SCV. So, uh, Mardo, TLO so far, is appearing to take it fairly. So, we have a uh, pool coming up. A pool is being built uh, by Mardo. Right here. And it uh, looks like he's going to go for uh, some Zerg cheese. Yes, he is. Some uh, Zerglings are already coming up early on. He's already going out for the uh, large... Uh, he's already looking out for the expansions around the map. See if he can do something with that. Now... Let's see, resources-wise. Resources-wise, we have Marlowe's actually in ahead. He's got a lot of minerals, and he also has a lot more supply being built right now. So, however, we got TLO. They're doing a building his Marines and Orbital Command Center as well. So he's going for... Uh, he's, he's got his bar barracks in the Command Center, so we could be looking at uh, more ground, ground units being built by the little one. So Marlo is actually putting these uh, overlords in position. Just floating him around on this side would be interesting because he can later on maybe do a Nidus Canal right into its base of TLO. Then again, it is uh, really a question whether or not both sides are going to try anything interesting. Marines already on the ramp. This command center is almost being built as the first uh, extractors are coming up as well. It's, uh, TLO is looking for a double extractor build and early command center as well. On the other side, Marlo has got himself, in the, well, he's got himself an extractor and a queen coming out as well now. And he is just building uh, well more... He's actually building a second queen? I think he's building a second queen. Interesting. Yeah, he is. He's uh, got himself a, uh, a second queen being built right now. As well as another hatchery. Another hatchery being built down here in his first expansion. And he really needs to keep ahead of, uh, of TLO because TLO is really known for his creative thinking when it comes to expansions, uh, when it comes to strategy. And uh, Marlo's already taken out his scouting. And there's, there's a bunker here. And he's going to fill it. TLO is probably going to fill that up with Marines and trying to take out these Zerglings as they're coming around the map. And an Orbital Command Center now being built as well. It looks like our mules are going to be shut down soon. 
for uh, TLO so to get that extra minerals in, as well as a factory coming up now. As so TLO has finally decided to go and scout out, see around the map, see what the hell's going on, and he knows where Marlow is because he has a, an idea of the direction the units came from. As so the queen is up, and now we got a metabolic boost being built by uh, by Marlow. And there we go. As so TLO is actually coming in. And he doesn't. He shouldn't really engage those zerglings on the on the creep, because there is a significant amount of them, and they're quicker than the uh, marines are. And they're gonna they're gonna try to engage to take one down. But if the, if the zerglings manage to surround, then the marines could be in some trouble. It doesn't look like they're gonna be. Doesn't look like the marines are gonna survive this. No, they won't. As the zerglings, even though they're low, do manage to uh, take down the marines. And more zerglings already coming out. And uh, we've got Helions being uh, Helion being built now by uh, TLO. Coming out from the factory. Is he going for a doll factory? No, he's going for an armory now as well. And he's managed to send that orbital command center over towards the expansion point. As uh, he's going for a very early expansion with human. Interesting. Was, uh those barracks are coming up. Let's see what we have. Overlords being built. Another lair. A sec a s another lair? Wow, that is that is early. TLO is just rough firing in more of the uh, more SCVs. As well as two more mules. He's very, very mineral heavy at the moment. And he's trying to uh, trying to really get ahead. Look at these spending. TLO is way, way, way ahead in the, in the technology as well as army. He's huge. He's spending a lot of resources on that and trying to get ahead of the Zerk, trying to make sure that he cannot get ahead of uh, of uh, the spending. That's deep. A Thor being built. Oh, wow. Early Thor. And very, very early Thor being built now by uh, the little one. That is extremely early right there. Expensive as well, and he's going for Terran vehicle upgrades. He is fully going on towards the uh, the attack, and he's actually flying a barracks around around the, the base of uh, Marlow, and he's just plopping it down here. A little, a little bit of scouting, and unless Marlow gets something along the line, of, uh, something along the line of a uh, a Nidus worm up here or spine crawlers, and trying to get in range, can the spine crawler actually reach? It probably will, but you now the queen's already there, trying to take out the barracks. Well, that's uh, that's an interesting scouting method there. It's two floors are being built at the moment. The base is blocked off quite nicely, so there's I don't think that uh, that Marlow has any idea what the hell is going on here. I don't think he knows that those factories are there. No, he doesn't. Does what does TLO know? TLO knows about the base, but aside from that, base not much. Well, yeah, the base is under attack, obviously, because those barracks are happily floating around. But that is a heavy, a he heavy scouting unit right there. He's going around. I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on there. This TLO is just happily going around. And a Roach Warren now being built as well. Did TLO see that? Yes, he did. He did see that Roach Warren coming up. He did manage to see that. And he is going for more Thors. There's a lot of Thors being built. And as he's got another Helion coming up. We've got a Spire now as well. We're looking at Mutalisks being built by... Marlow and he's more factories being built. A full factory built. Look at that. That is a lot of Thors. As well, Hellions. Those Hellions will burn. Those uh, those those Hellions will burn any uh, any Zerglings uh, to crap. And there's a siege tank coming out now as well. Siege technology being built by TLO, who is just completely bypassing Marines and going full on the vehicles. And those Thors. It's very very important right there. And we'll be able to do f a, an incredible amount of damage. That is a very, very interesting play. He's got three Thors out now. Wow! Three Thors! I'm not going to lie, but those things are hella sexy. Damn! The Thors are just going around. And is he, where is he trying to move the Thors? And they're just sitting in the base. We've got a couple of uh, muties. Mutalists going around. And he's got Gillal re 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 situation being built as well. Infestation pit as well, so we could be looking at infestors. Ooh, those infestors on those Thors. Ooh, that... Ooh, ooh, ooh the thought of that makes me tingle. <laughs> Your two more hatcheries being built now as well. And he's trying to churn out a ridiculous amount of uh, 
of uh, of roaches. Let's, let's look at these units there. Two queens, 12 roaches. Then again, 12 roaches is not that much. But bam, is he going to go for anything along the line of uh, of infestors? No, it's just roaches because he's still building that infestors pit. But still. <laughs> oh, this could be very, very interesting right here. As those mutilists are still going around and scouting around and see what they can find. We got another expansion coming up for Mardo, but TLO has not done anything so far. He's got these siege tanks who will stay behind the Thors as they dish out the damage. And the Helion's coming in as well. Oh, wow, look at that. Those Zerglings are burning, and those muties are not surviving very long as well. Although they had, did manage to take out one of the Helions. As uh, TLO is looking to build his uh, second expansion, or his third expansion, actually, and right on top of the high yield rocks. That could be very, that, that, will, that will possibly push Marlo. And so uh, he'll need to, to make sure that TLO does not go there. Oh, those muties are being absolutely annihilated as well, trying to take out the Hellions. One more, and his Hellion actually managed to survive the cost of two Mutalisks. That is devastating here. As uh, Marlo cannot afford to have TLO get this uh, get this expansion, even though he managed to get a, uh, a high yield of his own, he still cannot allow it. Even because, well, that high yield is just so much minerals right there. We got in neuroparasites being built, so we look looks like we're going to be looking at infestors, and those infestors will try to take out the Thors, trying to take over the Thors. Uh, an overlord actually goes down and look at all those siege tanks. They're like little elephants. Look at that, those little elephant trunks. And yes, I did quote uh, I did quote a certain uh, other caster there. Don't uh, don't mind me. The SAV is actually building missile turrets. It cannot afford TLO cannot afford to have these uh, workers, these SCVs being taken out. So those missile turrets will take will make short work of any muties trying to get in. That is a lot of units. Wow, look at those hellions. If th does does TLO know about the? He, I think he does. I think he knows about the uh, about the roaches. You yeah, you know if he didn't, he does now. And uh, the roaches still, well, the Hellions still don't manage to actually do much damage towards the uh, the roaches. But did they get? I didn't. Think, I don't think he went for Burrow. He did get rapid regen. Uh, he didn't get re he didn't get uh, re he didn't go for burrow just yet, but these hellions are low. I don't think uh, TLO can afford to have these hellions low. Is he actually going to go tower creep now as well? It doesn't look like it. TLO is bringing Nessie Fee to build a uh, missile tower in the middle of the map. Oh look at that! Oh those zerglings are getting flamed as uh, one of the hellions does go down, but at what cost? Oh those uh, there's a lot of uh, zerglings actually down on the floor. There's more fire being popped off on towards the uh, the roaches who are just exploding. Very, very nice. And this tower will allow uh, TLO to see a lot of the field. He knows exactly where it is. Ooh, I think he did saw that infester. Yes, he did. He did saw that infester. As the spine crawlers are still doing a, being a lot of trouble. Ooh, siege tanks being deployed. Here we go. And it's, uh, TLO will just, may, will just try to uh, lure the troops of Marlow in towards the base and try to take them out. As the sea tanks are deployed and ready to go, how can Marlow get back from this? He's going for Garn Carapace and Ventral Sacks. So he's trying to take his... Uh, he could try the command center being and more Thors. More Vikings now as well. We're back on towards the field here. There's a lot of power coming in. Although Helion's trying to get a damage in and towards the Roaches. The Roaches are dying. Quite, quite rapidly, but the Helions are feeling the damage. Oh, that Thor died. Most of the Thors actually managed to die in that one. A big hit right there. Brute Lords now coming out as well. All two Brute Lords about to hit the field, and the, the Thors did go down, all four of them. And those could be those could be a lot of trouble right there for, uh, for TLO. He's forced to pull back. These Brutlings are dying quite quickly. Wow. These Brutlords are going to do a lot of damage at range. And these uh, these Roaches to boot as well. And then Infester. Just keeps on trying as well. 
And there's another expansion being planned here by Mardo. As TLO is actually going for ship weapons now. So look at those factories. Wow. And he's finally managed to go for Vikings after building two starports. And he's got four more queued up. I'm actually in the mood for battle cruisers at the moment. Those Vikings on the ground will do a lot of damage. More Heliance is going around. These Thors will dish out ridiculous amounts of, uh, of power. He's got um, weapon upgrades on towards Thor and towards the units, but no armor upgrades. And probably will need to get those somewhere in the very near future in order to keep his troops running. Siege tanks deployed in TLO's base. What is Mardo up to? And he's got himself a Baneling nest. Ooh, Baneling's interesting. She's going for more uh, flyer weapons now as well, and the Mutalisks and Corruptors being built as well. Ooh, a greater spire. And he's got himself a hive, as well as a hatchery. He's going to try to get his uh, zerglings up to maximum speed. As this, uh, this is almost down here. The minerals here. What's up? party is about to start here. Ooh, the Infestors managed to get one of the Viking down. The Roaches are trying to get in as much damage on towards the Vikings as they possibly can, but the Helians are doing a lot of damage right there, trying to get a lot of the Flamers in. One of the, uh, one of the uh, Thors did manage to go down as these Corruptors are just trying to do so much damage. I don't think that uh, TLO is going to get out of this with much of his troops alive. The Sea Tanks are still in there. These Vikings have to run away from the Corruptors. As TLO is back on towards the field. He did lose a lot of his units there. Most of his Hellions did go down, but he still has one Thor remaining, and he is building missile turrets everywhere. Oh, if he is he going to deploy them there? Ah, oh, Queen's dead. He's actually going for harassment on towards the base. This uh, hatchery is not going to last for very long, and that is one expansion expansion out from Marlow. Another one is being planned over here, being built even. This refinery is actually coming up for TLO. TLO's strategy, focusing a lot on uh, Helions and uh, air units as well as uh, Thors, really put the fo puts the focus on with a lot of gas. And he really needs to get those gas out as fast as he can. As uh, right now, TLO is just focusing mostly on the on the overlords. But the ba oh, as the roaches do come in, try to take out the uh, the, the Thor. And he will pose like the you. Oh, but the siege tanks are on there on the ground, not being able to do anything. And the entire strike force. But the little one gets annihilated by the roaches and the Vikings are just sitting in the air saying, huh, man, we can't do anything. You guys on the floor? Yeah, you died. No problem. And there's uh, still more siege tanks and a lot of Vikings coming out now from TLO. But look at that. Two, three broodlings for, uh, for Marlo. Well, make that two as one just goes splat. Ooh, these siege tanks. They do manage to do a lot of damage towards roaches, but they're going to die. These sea tanks are going to die, and I don't. It does. Ooh, there's a lot. Of, there's two more there. But Marlo is uh, looking to kill a lot of these roaches. Uh, a lot of these expansions. As uh, Tilo has put his uh, stuff in towards the air, this orbital command could use that as well. One more gas. Is he gonna go in the air? Nope. That is one orbital command down. These orbital commands are still going around, and these roaches is kicking ass, taking names. Now they're going to go after these refineries. So there's a lot of stuff going on there. Marlow is really engaging these uh, these expansions very, very aggressively. But then again, TLO did a similar strategy earlier on. But I don't. What what could be possible right now is a uh, Anitis Canal straight into its base here, but that will get scouted quite quickly. Helions trying to take ooh, those roach eggs. Yeah, they're not going to survive very long, these Helions, I think. Nope, hello, roaches. This TLO has uh, opted. Ooh, he has got nine mules on the map now. He's got. Oh, look at this. Nine mules coming out from this uh, orbital command. And trying to get as much of these minerals out as he possibly can while he's still on the field. These optics go for full Vikings now. 
And that will be problematic for the Broodling, Broodlings, but the Corruptors will die to that as well. So hello, Overlord. You're going to die. Pow, pow. You didn't kill him. There you go. That's it. Infestors still. Those Infestors are a little bit useless now, considering there's no more Thors. Still. We have more weapon upgrades being built on for the Zerg. Mardo is really going for those missile weapons and armor. Medivacs. Medivacs being being built now by TLO. Look at these resources. TLO is... Well, Mardo, Mardo is hurting. He can't build any more units. Considering he does not have any more overlords. And I think this is the moment that gives a little bit more respite to TLO. Gives him a little bit of time to build up his units. As uh, Marlo is can't build any more units considering he lost a lot of his overlords. Economy though. As Marlo is really getting ahead of the economy as he should. The Vikings now in the base. Trying to go for more of these overlords. Trying to take him down. And they can't be doing anything. It, as Marlo can't do anything as his corruptors are down as well. He needs hydras. He really needs hydralisks on the field. As these Vikings are taking out more and more units. The Infestors do take mana to take down one of the Vikings. As the, Vi as the Infestors cannot take over many more. But look at that. Oh, these, all these overlords are going to go down. Marla won't be able to build anything anymore. Any units whatsoever. That is going to hurt his... That's going to hurt his, um, his troops significantly. And he has no Hydralisks. Oh, so many overlords is dying. And the ability to expand is getting more and more difficult for Marlo now. TLO, even though he does not have the unit advantage, is low. He, he is, well, he's ahead in the game considering he's denying Marlo the ability to do build anything. More creep being put down on the floor by Marlo, making sure that uh, TLO cannot expand. And uh, TLO has decided to put another unit down there. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> well, that's a lot of siege tanks right there. <laughs> very, very nice work there. A TLO, all those, uh, all those, uh, all those roaches. Yeah, they're they're gonna die versus all of these guys. There's not much they can do. I'll have to. Uh, Marla will have to make sure that he can get his roaches around these Hellions when he tries to engage and go straight towards the siege tanks. But even then, I don't think he's going to be able to survive such a massive amount of siege tanks. That is impressive right there. 17 siege tanks and 11 Vikings. That is significant. More Corruptors. Around is they're gonna morph into its brood lords. Doesn't appear to be the case. Oh, there we go. Hydralisks finally being built. They'll be able to take those Vik they'll be able to take those Vikings out quite quickly. Ooh, hello, roaches. Yeah, <laughs> those roaches cannot take out these siege tanks because as soon as they go to zero on them, all of these bad boys will engage and those roaches will all die horribly in a fire. Banshees being built. By TLO. Does TLO have his. Uh, uh, has one Banshee, but where is Medivax? I uh, didn't have any. Right now, Terran Vehicle weapons are being upgraded even more. Those siege tanks will do a ridiculous amount of damage very, very shortly. As up. This Overlord tried to get some. Uh, try to deny TLO this expansion. But they're going to die quite quickly. As there's a couple more overlords here. And as soon as uh, TLO finds these overlords, they're going to die. They're going to die horribly in a fire versus this Viking. There's uh, another blue lord coming out. And they're going after the infestors. Ooh, one infestor down. That is good. And we have Cloaking Field being, dis being researched by TLO. More infestors coming out. But TLO is uh, kicking ass, taking names on towards these drones. Does manage to take out about seven of them. But at the cost of about four Hellions. Mm, that's anybody's game at the moment still. 
Marlow can't do anything versus these, versus these uh, siege tanks. They've got a lot of range on them. These Vikings will take out um, anything that comes in the air. And more Banshees being built. There's barracks out here to scan. See what's going on. But look at all these roaches. These roaches will not stand a chance versus those siege tanks. These Hydras, though. Ooh. Man, this is difficult. This could be a very, very interesting situation. Oh, here we go. It needs to deploy the siege tanks now. The siege tanks need to go deployed now. Here we go. On top we go. Oh, look at all those uh, roaches being destroyed. Even though a lot of the siege tanks did go down by corruption, but still, all the uh, hydras are being pounded into shreds. And all these siege tanks in the back here are still pounding a lot of damage with the Broodlords. Did manage to take down a significant amount of the troops. The Vikings are going in, trying to take down these Broodlords. But at what cost? It's going to be difficult for them to actually do something. These Broodlords need to take out the siege tanks so, the vi so that the Hydralists can go in. But it wasn't enough. The Broodlords did go down. A lot of the siege tanks did die, but all of the roaches, all of the roaches of Marlow were annihilated by that. Great play by uh, TLO. At the cost of his uh, the cost of his army, he did manage to cull the army quite significantly. More corruptors being built. As uh, Marlow has finally decided, you know what, TLO, you're, you're weak versus brute lords. I'm going to build more of them. So he's going for more weapon upgrades. On towards his uh, on towards his uh, brute lords, and also the corruptors, and as well as this, uh, the hydralisks. Two banshees cloaked out here, trying to get the damage in on towards the hydralisks. You need to make sure that the hydras are off the field. And there's no overlords here, so they can't see them. Are there any overlords being rushed in? No, but we do have a couple of corruptors. More oh, overseer now as well. They'll be able to see the uh, the cloak banshees. There we go. That's the fight. That's the banshees down. The refinery now goes up as well. Wow! Look at all those factories. Very very aggressive player on the on with those fours. Very very nice. But it's gonna be difficult now because he's really lost all of his momentum. He's trying to harass with his uh, with his troops, but what can he do? It's going to be extremely difficult for uh, TLO to, uh, to crack this, especially for the aggressive nature of the Zerg. He's trying to produce more Marines. And Terran Verk weapons 3. More Corruptors and Brute Lords coming out now. And Zerglings now come being built as well. And Zerglings will do a lot of damage, and they're extremely quick now. And they'll probably be able to take up the siege tanks if they manage to survive the onslaught. Siege tanks still ready to be deployed. But still, we have this cloaked banshee coming out. We're just harassing this expansion. With the corruptors in tow. It's most of the uh, hydras and roaches now for uh, Marlow. Mardo, my apologies. As well as this field of overlords and overseers. He's building banelings. Banelings being constructed. As he's morphing his zerglings into towards banelings. That could be very interesting. He's going to go and drop them. Mardo is going to drop the, the, the Banelings. Probably right onto either the expansions or the Siege Tank. However, TLO is not waiting by to see what's going to happen. There come his Vikings. And they're going to find this massive cloud of aerial units. Here we go. The engagement is underway. The Vikings pulling, pulling back as much as they can. Trying to take out the, uh, trying to take out the Corruptors as good as they can. But they're very, very weak. They can't survive it very long. And they're forced to pull back. Ooh, hello, Banelings. Hello, Expansion. Booyah! <laughs> very, very nice. All the SCV, most of the SCVs died in that. As the new mule just comes down. Very nice play with those Banelings and really trying to harass TLO's economy there. But look at that. All those siege tanks. Not as much as you had before. And those Helions as well. But now it's just a war of attrition. 
who can who can uh, who can get the most resources over a later period of time because it's really a stalemate right now. Thirty-five minutes in towards this match, and both sides are still right on top of each other. Helions are still going around and uh, trying to harass these expansions. Trying to get ahead. And Medivac is just going around and kicking abs and taking names. Just dropping Halions left, right, and center. As, uh, currently, we have Secret Missile and ra a Raven being produced. Ooh. A Raven being produced. Those Hunter Secret Missiles. The only thing this can go better is we see Battle Cruisers. And we have four Ravens already on the map. They'll try to take out the UGC units as fast as they can, but these Brute Lords are still doing a lot of damage. Together with the Corruptors and these uh, point defense turrets are doing a lot of damage. Oh, look at that. Just pounding away onto its Brute Lords as the Ravens are just dropping them down all over the place. These point defense drones are really doing it for TLO right now. It needs to move up with these Ravens and try to build them even more, even closer towards the lines. And he's been, he's been protecting his overlords so far because he does not want TLO to do what he did before and take out these overlords and, and avoiding uh, that Mardo can actually build something, which could be problematic to say the least. I'm going to creep here just to heal up the units. As these drones are slowly but steadily coming back onto what's the field. So far, however, it is really a stalemate. Both sides are just filling each other out and just are on the side of the map. Medivacs are being dropped in and everything with Hellions all over the place. But both sides can't really decide what they should do and how to get out of it. And now it's just waiting before the, all the minerals get finished. And then the Zerg is in a lot of trouble because they will need to crack this defensive perimeter. And I doubt they're going to be able to do that, especially now with those uh, Ravens on the field. And they'll just put point defense turrets out everywhere. So they find <laughs> they try to drop some Banelings in towards uh, TLO's base, but that's not going to happen. Ooh, scout it out. TLO knows about them now, as more Brute Lords are being built. Vikings in tow with the... Ravens. A lot of damage coming in now. I don't think these Vikings are gonna. These Ravens are gonna survive very long, even though they're just taking the damage in. While well, the Ravens are cleaning up the Corruptors. Ooh, here come the Hydralisks. They need to get away. But that's just in time. Two of the Vikings did go down. Those PD turrets are now gone as well. TLO still has one expansion he can use, and he's still fairly good in minerals. And his base, oh, this refinery is dead, so is that one. And all these turrets are just to make sure that no units come in and try to do anything clever. Currently, we've got more Vikings being produced and more Ravens as well, <coughs> just to get those uh, turrets out. More missile turrets being built. A lot of missile turrets being built. Oh, dear. TLO is not leaving anything. And this could be it right here. The Ravens are just, uh, uh, the, the Vikings are just taking out these uh, overlords now. As the, as the Corruptors were away from home. And they're going to die. Giving the Vikings free roam through the base. As the uh, Roaches and Hydralisks are just going behind them. And trying to do something about it. But it can't do anything. Any, anything. The four Vikings are down. Here we go, TLO is going to try to finish it off. The Hylians are coming in, on range, trying to take these Hydralisks down. Deploy on the tanks. No, not just yet. As this party is over, TLO is coming in to kick your ass and take your name. The Hylians trill trying to go in. 
trying to do as much damage. These Vikings need to push forward and take out this brew load as fast as they can. The ploy comes in. Oh, anything that's on the ground gets annihilated. The Vikings trying to take the brew lords down. The point defense turrets are on the ground now as well. The corruptor is dead. Anything is dead. I don't think that uh, Mardo cannot get back from this. The siege tank push is a fact. And this Corruptor is going to go down. A couple more Zerglings, but they're not going to survive. As the Helions make short work of the base. And now the siege tanks will just come in and take Mardo's base apart. Moving up towards the home. And this game is over. Mardo cannot do anything but call a good game at this pace. Yeah, he's just tr trying to build a couple Corruptors. It, however, if he managed to take out these Vikings, then he could manage to take down the Siege Tank army. But at what cost? It's going to take far too long. If the tanks are just in normal mode. Oh, yeah, the Corruptor, the Baneling Nest is going to go down. The Great Spire needs to die now as well. More Zerglings are being built as fast as they possibly can. It's not going to matter. TLO has run over Mardo now. As Mardo waited far too long. And he could not do anything about it. The siege tank defense was way too much. Even with those Thors up in the beginning. It did not happen. It did not work. Sadly enough. But TLO should have this at this rate. He does still have a couple of corruptors. And he's building missile turrets all over the place. And he could go with a couple more Vikings. But I don't think he's got the resources for it. Well, he, well, he's he's on low on gas, I think, which is probably the problem. Well, this uh, circling is actually trying to take down the uh, refinery. TLO is rolling in. That queen did not stand a single chance whatsoever. The circling is going to die. I would have called a good game a long time ago. Oh, 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 this could be problematic. The Vikings are down. The Vikings are in fact down. More circlings coming in. Seat sinks are a little bit low. If, ooh, this could be extremely problematic for TLO now. Because he does not have any Vikings, he's got no air support. Oh, the Vikings are just coming in just in time. Just to take out the uh, the Corruptors. But is it going to be enough? I don't think it's going to be enough. Yeah, he does call good game. Mardo calls good game. He knows his bases are well down. He did try to go and take out the Vikings from TLO, but it was not enough. And TLO, after what can only be described as a ridiculously long stalemate, being, dis being denied uh, the push forward with those Thors early in the game, finally managed to pull it back with... A massive, massive siege tank push. This has been A Spec here on Quad Feed for day number five of 30 days. We'll see you tomorrow with more StarCraft. Remember, this has been an absolutely terrible cast. Leave your comment below just to see on how I can improve in the future. See you tomorrow.